In our study of evil, we pick up at our 36th lesson today on rebellion. Rebellion, not doing what you are told to do. Adam and Eve rebelled against God when they ate the fruit. But God told them not to eat the fruit. When you resist the actions proclaimed to you, when you do the quite opposite of what you're told to do, this, my friend, is evil. 1 Samuel 15, 19. Wherefore then dost thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but this fly upon the spoil and this evil in the sight of the Lord? King Saul outright disobeyed. And... The rebellion. Rebellion is rebellion. When you disobey the word of the Lord, it is rebellion. First Samuel 26, 18. And he said, Wherefore does my Lord thus pursue after thy servant? For what have I done? Or what evil is in my hand? David re is requiring of King Saul, who's been on his on his tail. And what rebellion or sin have I done against you, Saul, the king, or God? And there is none. The rebellion is against another man or God. Not doing what you are told to do, or going against the authority of God or the government, the king. 2 Kings 17, 13. Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes, according to all the law which I command your fathers which I sent to you and by my servants, the prophets. Israel and Judah, north and south, rebelled against God and his commandments and his statutes and not obeying the prophets that God sent to warn them of the rebellion. So the rebellion of Israel is against God's commandments, his words, against his statutes, his rules and regulations. And against the prophets, the men that God sent to tell you, hey, you're not doing well. This is what you need to do. They rebelled against the word of God. And the men sent with the word of God. Second Chronicles 33, 6. And he caused his children to pass through the fire of the valley of the son of, of Hinnom. And he reserved times. And used enchantments and used witchcraft and dwelt with familiar spirits, you know, seance, Ouija boards, and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him, the Lord, to anger. And all the sins listed, and again, the rebellion against God that said not to do that, not to do this, don't. And his commandments and his word, a due regard against the law that Moses wrote, the law of God. What God said not to do, the king did. And the evil is rebelling and sinning against God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all rebel against God. When we sin against God. Nehemiah 13, 17. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah. And said unto them, what evil thing is this that ye do? And profane the Sabbath. Again, this is Israel. This is not the church. Israel defiled. Judah defiled. And disobeyed God's commandment of the Sabbath. Not for the church. The church don't honor the Sabbath. 
Israel and Judah rebelled against the Sabbath laws of God. And the 70 years in Babylon were according to, as you read the scriptures, were according to the Sabbath. Israel broke. And Judah broke. Nehemiah 13, 27. Shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil and transgress, trans, transgress against our God in marrying strange wives? Judah and Israel were marrying into the heathen. It goes all the way back to Solomon. The law specifically put the Jews to marry in their tribe. Judah is to marry Judah. Benjamin is to marry Benjamin. Joseph to well, Joseph divided into two tribes. Manasseh to, into Manasseh. Levi into Levi. And the sin here is to mix marriages of the tribes of Israel and not even the, the uh, one tribe going to another tribe. This is the nation of Israel and Judah marrying outside Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the heathen. Friend, the church is told by Paul where to marry a saved person, not an unsaved. A Christian, born again Christian, has no business marrying a Catholic, a Jew, a Muslim, an atheist, an agnostic. And when we marry as born again Bible believing Christian, when we marry a person of opposite sex that is not a born again Christian, we rebel and we sin against God. Proverbs 17, 11. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Evil is rebellion. Rebellion is evil. For rebellion as is the sin of witchcraft. Samuel tells Saul, as we look at this rebellion, it's when, when your boss says, you got to do this, and you don't do it. You've sinned against your boss. When you, as a child, and your parents tell you, you got to do this, and you don't do that, you have sinned against your parents, and you rebelled. When your wife has asked you on the way home from work to get something and you don't, you have rebelled against your wife. You have sinned against God. When you as a wife, your husband tells you to do something and you don't do it, you have sinned against your husband. You see, the very first sin that man ever did was rebelling against the word of God. Adam, thou shalt not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Eve took of the fruit. That wasn't the sin. Eve bit that fruit and gave to her husband. He did eat. That is rebellion. The rebellion against the commandment of God is why we have police, hospitals, ambulances, courthouses, prisons, and graveyards. Rebellion against the word of God, the wages of sin is death. Brought us to a graveyard. We're born to die because rebellion against the word of God, which left God's throne for Jesus Christ to be born and for Jesus Christ himself to suffer and to die and be buried and arose again the third day, all according to the scriptures, because man rebels. When you run through that red light, you have rebelled against the law. When you go 56 in a 55 mile per hour zone, you have rebelled against the law. When you are not walking in the crosswalk, you are jaywalking, you have rebelled against the laws of man. When the Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a work that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. And when you don't study your Bible, you don't rightly divide the word of truth, you have rebelled against the Bible, the word of God. When the Bible and Jesus Christ tells you, go to all the world and preach the gospel, and you don't tell people the gospel, you have rebelled against the word of God. You have rebelled against the word of Jesus. You have sinned against God in rebellion.
If you don't confess your sins, for the Bible says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we do not confess our sins, we have rebelled against the word of God. We have rebelled against God. We're in active sin. Rebelling is going against God. Rebelling is going against authority. A president, a king, a queen, a prime minister, a governor, a judge, a police officer, a store owner. When somebody is in authority over you, Romans 13, and you despise and you reject and you do counter what? You rebelled. When a store asks you to wear a mask today, you go in and you don't wear a mask, you rebelled. You rebelled. When your teacher tells you you got a homework assignment tomorrow or next week and you don't do that homework assignment, you rebelled against God because that teacher's been put in authority. When you don't like the, the political uh, candidate that is opposite of your candidate and you badmouth that candidate, when the Bible says we're to pray for the, the rulers and the powers that be, you rebelled against God and your government. You can hang the flag out. You can quote all the patriot visit. If you are not giving honor and praying for the person that's not of your party because you want to be, you know, you have rebelled against God. Rebellion is what gave us cemeteries. Rebellion is what took God off the throne and put him on the cross because of rebellion. Rebellion is when the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And you choose anything but Jesus and you wake up when you die in hell. You're in hell because you rejected in rebellion God's gift of eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 